So it's February the 4th, and it's Grammar Day. If I'm honest, I've never been the best at spelling and grammar. I, it's been one of the things that I always struggled with at school, uh, but I like to think that I've improved over the years. And, you know, seeing the wrong there or the wrong your now annoys me. Even though occasionally I still myself use the wrong one when speedily typing out a text or something, but who doesn't? Uh, I'm annoyed with myself when I do that. But I wouldn't like to think I'm a grammar pedant. I'm not going to use grammar Nazi because I think, you know, in current climate there were real Nazis emerging. Let's, you know, save the word Nazi for the actual racists and not just people that, you know, a picky about grammar. But yeah, I was never very good at grammar and spelling as a kid. I hope now I've improved massively, although we all have further to go, I'm sure. Who doesn't occasionally spell a word wrong or forget a comma where there should be a comma or just isn't sure whether or not they should put a semicolon or, you know, one of the ones with the little... Oh, I don't even know which one's which. Which There's the two dots and then there's one that's a dot above a com... No, not a comma. Yes, a comma. I, I still don't know which way round to use those. Which one do I use in which situation? I don't know. If you know, tell me in the comments below. That would be helpful. So I thought, what can I do for Grammar Day? And I thought I could look back into my old workbooks from school and see just how bad my grammar used to be. And that might make me feel better about how much it's improved since then. So I've got this. It's my old English workbook from Year 7. Year 7 is like... 11 year olds, 11 ish, 10, 11 year olds. So this is my workbook. I was in class seven PK in English. Shall we see how bad it is? Very first page. Clearly we were learning about um, Arthurian legends. King Arthur, who was riding from the forest. Oh no, Fru, that's Fru, but spelled F-R-O-U. Oh dear. Through the forest, when a black knight met, met when a black knight meet him and challenged him to a fight. No full stop. But a new paragraph. The black knight, seed, come here in three day with the answer to this riddle, and your live will be saved. <laughs> what do women W I M E N most desire? I think that's meant to be desire. Did use question mark though. Points for me there. I knew how to use question marks at least. Oh god. The king asked all the ladies in his kingdom the question. But they all had a different answer. Oh my word. Okay, mostly that's just terrible spelling, but there's bad grammar in there as well. Ooh, okay. <laughs> I've monked up a newspaper, the local standard. And it's got an advert for Space Jam in it. The Bugs Bunny movie. And you're on Space Jam advert. Yeah, I think we were doing something like a creative writing assignment. But not only did I have to write the actual story, I had to come up with loads of like expanded universe elements to it as well. Which is actually really fun. So hence the fake newspaper. Okay. Chapter 2 of this story. This is The Discovery. It was late Friday night and all our class decided to play truth or dare. I was the first to get a dare. I had to steal something, so I stole a bag of clay. Oh, man. That was a bit of a long sentence. Next for a dear was Daniel. We dared him to go to Mr. McAlee's office and listen to his conversation and tell us well after five minutes. He came back and told us what he said. Thus, this is what he told us. Oh. There's no punctuation in any of this. There's no commas, there's no full stops, there's nothing. It's just one big long sentence. Oh man. I wonder though what my teachers thought. Did they comment on my grammar at all? Let's find out. I've got my old school reports. <laughs> His ideas are developed in a sequence of sentences, sometimes demarcated by capital letters and full stops. Sometimes. Philip uses simple monosyllabic words, which are usually spelled correctly. Are they? Really? Are you sure? And where there are inaccurate, the alternative is plausible, i.e. it's phonetic. I did a lot of that phonetic spelling. Shall we have a look the other way at primary school? But in English, it doesn't start well. 
Philip lets himself down with inattentiveness and general apathy. <laughs> he reads quite well and he has imaginative ideas, but the results on paper are untidy and careless. His handwriting is very poor, although on odd occasions he has shown improvement. Spelling results are very poor in both tests and his own right. <laughs> oh man. Philip is very poorly motivated when it comes to written English. His writing is poorly punctuated even at a basic level. His spelling of commonly used words is poor and he makes little effort to learn them. I mean, it's not perfect. I mean, really people, which one of these do you use in which situation? I don't know. I still don't know. Does anybody want to make me feel better? Does, was anybody as bad as that when they were 11? And I'm sorry, I don't care what anybody says. I'm not using whom in a sentence. To all the grammar pedants out there, um, I'm sure you were especially cringing while I was reading that. So this whole video goes especially to you. Thank you very much. I will see you all for another festivity day uh, to video tomorrow. Bye. Thank you.